In ShopSite version 11, Service Pack 1, they've added a mobile capability to both Manager and Pro. With this option, customers can come to your website using their mobile device and they'll be given a smaller version of your website that's simplified for a mobile screen. To turn on this mobile option, go in your back office to ShopSite and click on Preferences, then click on Mobile. The first thing you want to do is switch this option to On and then upload your new logo. The logo for a mobile screen should be no more than 60 pixels high. Any higher than that and it'll look a little bit off or take up more of the screen than you want. So you'll want to create a new logo that's smaller to be used only for your mobile pages. So I've already uploaded a logo, Tina's Toys Logo Mobile, and I'm going to check the checkbox to use that logo. Now in the Mobile to PC section, check this checkbox and what it does is when a customer comes to your website on their mobile device, they'll be given the option to view the full website, the PC version. So they could click to view the full HTML site. Then when they go to the full site, they'll have the option to return to the mobile site. So this link is convenient if you have additional information on your PC site that's not on the mobile site. This can include product reviews or related items or even just some advanced details that aren't included on the mobile site. Next you have the option for a page header and a page footer, but you don't want to clutter up your mobile pages too much. So if you don't have to put in a header or footer, I suggest don't. Next are the mobile colors. The text color is the text color. The background color is the background color. The link color and the active link color are going to be used for links in your store and navigation menus. The visited link color is mostly going to be used for buttons in your store, like the add to cart button or the checkout button. That color is, you're going to want to make a little bit more bold. So the blue and orange colors here are going to go great with Tina's Toys look and feel already. So I'm going to leave those colors plain. Next, you're going to want to set up your navigation menu. Across the top of all of your mobile pages will be a navigation bar that you can hold three to four links in it. So you have four different navigation fields here. The links that you add, you want to have generic enough that anybody that comes to your website can get around your store using those links, but specific enough that they have your top pages. So my first one I want to put as categories, so that anyone that comes to a page that's not my home page can still go back and view all of my store categories. So I'm going to select the page, and I want it just to link to my home page. So I'm going to add that, choose the shop site page, and leave it there. My second link, I want to be a top page in my store. So I'm going to do the specials page. So check to use a shop site page, and then I'm going to select my specials page. My third link is going to be my store policies. So I'm going to select my policies page, add it, and then click on OK. And my last link, I want it to be a view cart link. So instead of selecting a shop site page, I'm going to enter a URL. So to grab my view cart link, I'm going to go to my store, right click on view cart, and click on copy link location. Go back into my back office, and then paste that URL in there. The secondary navigation menu is only for your mobile home page. This is if you already have a navigation menu set up under Preferences Navigation, you can use that navigation menu on just your home page of your mobile site. So in Tina's Toys, I have both my top navigation menu and a left navigation menu. But the links are kind of repetitive, so I'm not going to display either on my home page. So I'm going to leave that just as it is. Down here, I do want to use the mobile product template for my mobile pages. Check that checkbox, and I do want to use the product template for mobile for the search results pages. So I'm going to check that checkbox. Save changes at the bottom, publish your store, and now you're done. That's all you have to do. Here I have my mobile device, and I've gone to my Tina's Toys web page, and this is what a home page looks like. This completes the video tutorial for mobile devices.